it is March, but I thought maybe we'd talk about June a little bit. You know, back back when you and I were growing up, Cameron, the summer, you know, we took the summers off with with TV. Um, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've seen some of the news lately. We already knew about the bear coming back in June. Now mm -hmm. we're going to get House of the Dragon coming back in June. We're going to get the Acolyte coming in June. We've got a lot of stuff coming, and we got trailers for a couple of those things. I think we had to start with House of the Dragon because this was a very interesting approach to trailers that were dropped today. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, and you know, I I, I wonder about the shift. I feel like here's my read on it. I feel like when we were young, there was a sentiment that well, it's summertime. People are going to be outside doing stuff. Oh, yeah, right. You know, we're not going to release new TV in the summertime. And they just show reruns. Yeah. And, and, you know, over the course of time, I guess they learned, like, it doesn't matter. People watch new TV in the summer. <laughs> People don't go outside. You know, like we, People take uh, off work in the summer and are looking for things to do. In it's the too summer. hot. <laughs> yeah. It's too hot to go outside. Stay in, stay in the AC and yeah. watch House of the Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh yeah, presume that will drop weekly. So you know, carry through we'll have oh, a good Lord, part of the summer. Please, yes, drop weekly. <laughs> um, I'm sure it will. I mean, this yeah, is HBO it will. and everything. What did you think of the um, dueling trailers? I thought this was kind of interesting. We had one sort of focused on. Um, I was going to say House Black, but that that's yeah. is that right? As a way, well, to, yeah, one's so, black, one's green. Yeah, so there is basically the way that the. The House of the Dragon is set up is there are two factions on your side. One is represented by the color green. The Allison one is um, on the Targaryen side is represented by the color black. So they've released a black trader. Are you on team black? And they've released a team green trader. Are you, are you on team green? And so really setting up this brewing war that, um, that got started at the end of season one. A lot of... Uh, Talk of battles, a lot of dragons flying around. So this is where the, the violence is going to really kick in for this series. Yeah, and I'm in, again, I probably said this to you before on here, that I don't necessarily think the show is good. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't make the argument. I was always a little on the fence about that with the Game of Thrones, actually. I thought, of course, it's like very well produced, it's well acted, it's very entertaining, but some people who got to the level of suggesting that it was... By good here, I mean something like deep, something mm -hmm. like meaningful, you know? Yeah. And I'm, I'm not sure that Game of Thrones was. Come at me if you want. Um, how's the dragon? Kind of even less, though. But it just looked like, you know, this is fun. I'm in. Yeah. Um, I am curious. As I recall, in the end of the first season, they kind of split the finale in this way, basically, where you had one episode that focused on the one faction and their perspective, and then the the next that went to the other and now with these competing trailers i wonder how much it's going to might be like that in season two that could be really interesting and maybe a little yeah. risky if they actually embraced like episode one is going to be from the perspective of um this faction episode two is from the perspective of yeah. that faction that, that's a great observation now that you say that that would not surprise me if they did that at least the first maybe four episodes of the season let's say before you know the conflict really starts um you know, the other criticism that I think that show got was there were some real time jumpy things that people thought didn't make sense or couldn't follow. So there's no more of that. That's gone. Um, these are the characters really going to stick with us until the until the end. But I, I, I might like to see what they could do if they have a, all right, this is going to be the black strategy episode and the green strategy episode. And, you know, sort of what are we planning and plotting and scheming Um that might be interesting to, to see, but I do think certainly by mid-season, we're going to see a lot of um, these two groups coming together. You know, I, like Obviously, if they're like actually fighting when we have yeah. battle scenes, you know, then, then they're... But there's still a question of, you know, what perspective are you taking on that? And um, The release of the two trailers and in the background, the fact that they did that at the end of season one makes me really curious of, to see how much they do that sort of thing because playing with perspective is where this could be kind of more interesting than it might be otherwise. You are naturally kind of prone to be sympathetic to the side that you're getting the story from. Yes. You know, so to, so to go back and forth, um, I don't know. Are, are you firmly on a side in this story, by the way? No, I, I'm just on the side of, of 
tell a good story with a proper ending. That's the, that's the side I'm on. 